Hello and welcome to our discussion on the variance analysis. We know that material cost variance is due to the quantity variance and the price variance and the quantity variance can be further subdivided or analyzed as material mix variance and material yield variance. In this session we will try to focus on material mix variance and understand the impact of the change in the composition of material on the quantity which affects the cost variance. So let us take this example. So the standard cost information is given that 50 units of A and 50 units of B can produce 80 units of output. But while computing the mixed variance, we are not concerned or we are, our focus is not on the input-output ratio. We are interested in understanding the change in the composition. Did the composition of material change? If it has changed, what is the effect of the change in the composition of material on the cost of material? So therefore, independent of the input-output relationship, the cost may change because of the composition of the material might have changed. And material mix variance shows the impact of the change in the composition on the cost variance. So what is this material mix variance? The standard mix is the actual input in the standard ratio. Because material mix variance is a standard mix minus actual mix into standard price. So when we say that it is a difference between the standard mix and actual mix, we need to understand what is this standard mix. The standard mix is the actual input in the standard ratio. So in this question, the standard mix will be 600 and 600 respectively. The 1200 should have been consumed in the ratio of 1 is to 1. But as the actual consumption is 500 and 700. So therefore, material mix variance in this example is the change in the mix which is SM minus AM for A and SM minus M for B into the standard price. So material mix variance is part of the cost variance due to the change in the composition of the material. So in this case the total material mix variance is 500 because there is a change in the composition of material. But observe this. Same information. Suppose the cost, standard cost of this material would have been same, 20 each. Even if the composition would have changed, which has changed here, the material mix variance will be uh, overall zero because the impact of the change in the one material has been nullified by the change. So therefore, the material mix contribution is to find out how did the cost change because of the change in the composition. In other words, for example, in this case, we would have reduced the cost variance to the extent of 500 by sticking to the standard mix or the prescribed composition of material. Thank you very much.